Welcome to the call sheet for Revenge of the Sage, Wells Gray Rides Again. We're going to describe and illustrate the basics of a call sheet. You'll notice almost everything that could possibly be found on a call sheet is included as a learning exercise. A call sheet is created and distributed by the Assistant Director Department in print form or electronically. It tells the cast and crew when and where they are to report for work the next day, what will be filmed, and what is required. The call sheet is also a reference tool to be referred to throughout the day of shooting. In the upper left corner, you'll find the name and full contact information of the production company, plus the names of producers and the director. At the top in the middle, there's the project's name and often a logo. For a TV series, the episode number may be placed here as well. The top right contains key information. The general call time is indicated at the top. Call time is when work begins. Notice the time is in military time. The shooting call time is when the first shot of the day is expected to take place. The shooting day out of total shooting days is also listed. Total shooting days are the total of actual filming days scheduled to finish filming the production and does not include days off. The actual date of filming is listed. A meal, and in this case, lunch, is to be served no later than six hours after call time. Because some crew members are called earlier than others, lunch is often available earlier. Weather is indicated to help the cast and crew determine appropriate clothing and footwear. The sunrise and sunset times are indicated to assist with timings of shots for dusk and dawn, and to warn cast and crew if they'll be working when it's dark outside. A production safety person is in charge of safety for the entire project or production company. Key messaging can also be found in top middle. All scripts and schedules are initially printed on white paper. Changes are distributed on colored paper in a predetermined color sequence. The first assistant director conducts safety meetings at call times when necessary. All crew members are expected to attend. Safety bulletins are also attached to the call sheet. Blocking is the initial walkthrough of a scene or shot. The heads of the technical departments are expected to watch the director and actors as they work out the blocking. A pre-call is when cast and crew members are required to report for work before the general crew call. In this case, NDB means a non-deductible breakfast is available before call time. A forced call happens when an actor or crew member is required to report back to work the next day within that person's mandatory rest period. When that happens, they are financially compensated. Meal penalties are incurred when actors and crew are not provided a meal after working six hours or within six hours of having their last meal. Cast and crew are financially compensated when there is a meal penalty. Productions prohibit picture taking and posting images or information about the production to social media without prior permission. Doing so without permission can result in being fired. The set description table lists the day's filming schedule. Scene numbers are based on the latest version of the script. These are the scenes to be filmed. Set descriptions show if the scene is exterior or interior. The location of the story and a phrase is provided to jog the memory of what takes place in the scene. The story day and night column shows the story day of the script. For example, scene 29 takes place on story day 3 and scene 31 takes place on story day 4. Therefore, there would be costume, makeup, and hair changes between filming those two scenes. Listing the page count helps with timing and scheduling the day's workload. During the scheduling process, characters are assigned a number. Listing the character's number informs both the actors and crew when each character appears in a scene. The place where filming will take place and its physical address is provided. Maps are attached to call sheets. Cast and crew parking may be at a different address and that would be indicated here. A company move 
means that everyone must pack up completely and move to a separate location. Generally, a company move is avoided because it can take a considerably long time to wrap up, drive to the next location, and set up again. This is the CAS call timetable, and it lets the CAS know their call time and where to report. The script's characters are assigned numbers. The characters that appear the most in the script are usually assigned number 1 and 2 and on down. The actor's name and the character they play are listed for reference. This section informs production of the actor's work status. SWF stands for Start, Work, and Finish. So if an actor is SWF, that means they start, work, and finish on the same day. There are other abbreviations such as H for hold, meaning they are still working on the project, but not that particular day. This column shows who will be picked up by a driver and driven to the set. SD means self-drive. In this example, we are on location. Therefore, the cast are on the clock as they travel from where they are staying to the circus. Their call times allow for an undisturbed ND breakfast before reporting to hair, makeup, or wardrobe. OC means on call. The actor is a child and his parents will be notified during the day when their child is to report for work. HMW stands for hair, makeup, and wardrobe. The assistant director team coordinates the process of having actors report to hair, makeup, or wardrobe. REH stands for Rehearsal. Sometimes, actors will report to the set for blocking and sometimes the stand-ins will be utilized for blocking instead. Report to means where the actors are to first report for work. If at the hotel, they will be picked up. This is where stunt actors are listed. A cast number with an X after means they are the stunt person for that character. This is where the stand-ins are listed and their call times. Background actors, also referred to as extras or atmosphere, are assigned letters. There are general rules about what department communicates on what channel on walkie-talkies. Nonetheless, the channels are listed as reminders. The advanced schedule is provided to help the cast and crew to prepare. Although cast and crew receive complete schedules well before filming takes place, the advanced schedule serves as both a way to remind them of what's ahead and to alert everyone about any changes. A cover set is a predetermined scene that can be filmed almost anywhere and at any time. A cover set and scene may be filmed inside in times of bad weather, for example. The nearest hospital is listed in case of an emergency. Key production staff names and phone numbers are listed for communication. The top of the back page has a banner with key information. This list serves as a reminder for all departments about what is required in the scenes to be filmed that day. The items listed were either mentioned in the script, during a production, or in a department meeting. This is where every department, crew position, and individual call times are listed. OC stands for on call and means that they set their own call times as required. NC means not on call or on the schedule. RPT means report to and that work starts at their call time. If filming in a studio zone, cast and crew are expected to arrive ready for work and having had a meal at home. If on location, cast and crew may be provided a meal at the circus before they start work. In episodic TV, ODD means this first AD works on odd-numbered scripts and the other first AD works on even-numbered. So while one AD is working on set, the other AD is prepping. This is the same situation for the second assistant directors and often script supervisors who will also alternate based on odd or even-numbered scripts. In the production office, you'll notice the call times are different than the set call times. Per MH means Per Manuel Herrera, who is the production manager that will set that department's call time. 
In the camera department, notice the director of photography's call time is 18 minutes before the general call time. This is so he can arrive and have a meal that ends at 6.30 when he is required to go to the safety meeting and watch the blocking. The gaffer is also referred to as the chief lighting technician. The best boy is also called the assistant lighting technician. The lighting crew are also referred to as lamp operators or lighting technicians. Jenny operators are one of the first persons on the location or at the studio because that person is in charge of providing power to the trailers, the set, and all departments. The rigging crew usually work in advance of the production such as preparing to light a set in a studio or prepping a location that will be filmed in the near future. The term best boy grip is being replaced with second grip. The costume department varies in size and skill sets according to the type of project. For example, a fantasy film may require a team of costumers to dye fabric and a team of seamstresses to make the costumes. In the makeup department, HOD means head of the department. BG stands for background, meaning the makeup for the extras or atmosphere, and MR refers to our actor Mark Rudd. Sometimes actors have their own personal makeup and hair artists. Special effects consist of smoke, fog, rain, wind, and fire, for example. Visual effects refer to digital effects put in the picture after filming. Visual effects crews help on set by working with the director, actors, and crew to ensure that the scene will look realistic after visual effects are added, such as adding dinosaurs or flying saucers. The First Aid and Craft Service Department provides snacks and drinks for the cast and crew throughout the day. The craft service person is also the set's first aid attendant. Special equipment may be required depending on the scenes or special effects being filmed that day or due to weather conditions such as extreme temperatures. The catering company is usually a mobile kitchen that serves full hot meals to the crew. They park at the circus. The transportation department can be the largest crew on a production. They are in charge of all vehicles behind and in front of the camera. Additional labor may be hired depending on the scenes being filmed on that day. They are referred to as day players. Picture vehicles are vehicles that appear in front of the camera and are filmed. They can be an old model T-car or a horse-drawn carriage. Call sheets must be approved by the assistant director and production manager as the scheduling impacts accomplishing the day's schedule and the budget. Once a call sheet is approved, it is ready for distribution. Sometimes filming takes longer than expected, consequently, Call time for the next day will be pushed, meaning adjusted to a later time. If filming is finished ahead of time, sometimes the next day's call time will be pulled or earlier than originally scheduled. You may have questions, so here are some resources for you to explore. Part 2 of the call sheet will explain crew positions as well as other details. It will be available in December 2018.